Hello there! As you saw in uh, one of my previous videos, I made this Nokia 6600 gaming console and I uh, installed some gaming emulators. Um, in particular the Game Boy Advance emulator and uh, when I when I tested it I uh, I said uh, it's not working uh, in uh, in landscape mode only in portrait mode but actually I discovered that uh, you can rotate the screen in landscape mode but I will show you uh, uh, full screen and landscape, but only uh, only in uh, this orientation, which is not a, a big problem because I can remap the buttons. The D-pad can be um, the action button, and the the actions button can be mapped into the to the D-pad. Uh, the the screen resolution is almost the same resolution as the Game Boy Advance here if we look at the specification of this phone we can see that the screen resolution is 170 by 208 and the Game Boy Advance resolution is 240 by 160 so the resolution is almost same which means this can be a perfect Game Boy Advance replacement console. So let's try to remap the buttons and uh, let's see how well this, uh, this thing will go. So I already remapped the button. The D-pad is now these uh, four buttons and uh, the action buttons are now in the D-pad. Let's see how well this works. This is now left, right, up and down. Uh, this is jump and this is fire button. Yeah, as you can see, it plays uh, it plays very well now. So for today's project, I will use another phone, uh, a motherboard and screen of a Nokia N70. Uh, this phone has double the processor speed of this one. This one has a 106 megahertz processor. This one has a 220 megahertz processor. So we will definitely see. Uh, an improvement in the in the gameplay and the emulation also i will change the design i will uh, add uh, instead of this d-pad uh, it will have uh, four buttons like these ones on this side also it will have uh, four buttons like two six uh, eight um, on on this side and uh, four more buttons on this side so you can use it basically in any screen orientation even in portrait mode even in landscape mode doesn't matter the 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 way you holding it you can use it in any in any orientation so let's get started <laughs>
So finally, we have completed our Nokia N70 gaming console. So let's try. Uh, let's first test all the buttons. So two, four, six, eight. Correct. This should be the clear key. One, three, nine, seven. Good. Star. Good. Uh, this is okay. Good. And this is five. Okay. So let's try. Let's try a game now. Let's try to play Doom. I think there is a uh, possible to rotate the screen. I just don't know what I think uh, you have to set something here in the parameters, but I'm not sure what. So let me let me know in the comments below if you know if it is possible to rotate the, the screen in Doom. Also, uh, I don't see any option to change the key here. I think also the the key mapping can be can be changed, but I don't see any option here. So let's try the first. Let's see if we can increase the screen size. Yeah. Although we don't see anymore the okay so this is the fire button I'm sure it can be remapped to any other button but let's try for now let's try to play like this this will be the weapon change this is star right left move up turn left turn right back I think this one is open let's see It's good you can starve and rotate in the same time. This is quite useful. It's a little bit inconvenient to fire from that button in the portrait mode. I'm not sure which is the best viewing angle. For you, I'm seeing it. I think this one. So there we go, first map, E1M1 completed. It's, uh, it's really good, it's really comfortable for the hand to play like this. The only inconvenient is uh, this is the shooting button. So this one should be remapped with this one or any other key. Uh, but uh, I don't know exactly how to do that in C2 Doom. Okay, let's try something else. Um, let's try the Game Boy Advance emulator. Yeah, this is uh, where we had some issue with uh, with this one, with this uh, gaming console, because uh, yeah, I had to use it like this, and I had to use the D-pad as the action button. 
that is no longer a problem here and uh, also with this design I noticed that uh, it's very easy if you are left-handed or right-handed it doesn't really matter because I put trigger buttons here and also here so you can play it like this like this or like this so yeah it's it's quite convenient you can use it in any in any way uh, in any way it's, uh, it's convenient so let's see what is the key configuration here uh, keys so we want up to be this button down we want to make it this one uh, left we want to do this one right one we want to make this one uh, a should be maybe this one b should be this one start this one select uh, any other key since we will use it like this we will put this one to be the select uh, the left trigger will be this one and the right trigger will be this one okay so let's see Uh, since this uh, Nokia N70 has doubled the processor speed of uh, of this one, uh, I think we will definitely see an uh, an improvement in uh, in the speed. We will do at the end of the video. We will do a comparison between the two to see which one emulates faster. Okay, so uh, maybe replace those two buttons. Uh, A should be four and B should be two. Let's see, much better. Mm, the speed is uh, definitely better than on uh, than on this one. The games are a lot more smoother, thanks to the much higher processor speed and uh, much bigger RAM memory. Okay, let's try Quake now. This is a fire. Change weapons. Okay, so let's try. Maybe I should turn off the key sounds. Mm, 
yeah. So let's try a comparison between the two devices running Quake. I think the screen on this one is more brighter. Let's see if we can set the brightness on this one also. Ooh. I think we have to exit the game. If I can remember where the settings were here. much better Here you can clearly see the faster processor from this one. As far as I know, this one has only six megabytes of RAM memory. This one has like maybe 36, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, definitely you can see here. Let's try So let's try now the the Game Boy Advance emulator and uh, for this I'm going to use a tech demo made by uh, that I found on YouTube uh, made by a youtuber called 3d sage and uh, I have to say many thanks to 3d sage for providing me the this demo file you can check out his uh, YouTube channel I'll put a link in the description uh, he's doing some amazing stuff for the Game Boy Advance, some amazing 3D animation for this console. So, in the end, I will let you with this, with his tech demo. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like what I do.